In this video, we'll be covering the best way to level up all skills in Kingdom Come Deliverance. I've included chapters to make it easier to find what you need. Be aware, all XP values shown were done in hardcore mode with all negative perks, so XP gain is less than that in normal mode. Let's get right to it. We start with the bow skill. For every shot landed that doesn't kill, we earn 1.5 XP. For shots that do result in the kill, we'll earn 8.5 XP. Killing chickens results in no XP gain, but dogs, pigs, cows, and sheep all give the same XP as civilians, bandits, and cumans. Make sure nobody's around when shooting animals though, or you'll be paying a hefty fine. Since all XP is the same no matter what we're shooting at, take out all animals in a town. They all take a single shot, and they respond quickly. Taking out enemy troops might seem like the best way to gain experience, but when they take 4 or more shots to down and give the same XP as animals, it's no contest. My personal favorite method is taking out sheep in the countryside, as there are less people to see your actions. They're an easy target to hit and spawn in packs of 6 or more. You can take the meat from them the first time you shoot them, but when they respawn they'll have an empty inventory. Now let's look at all melee skills. They all follow the same pattern as bow, giving 1.5 XP for any hit, including blocked attacks, and 8.5 XP per kill. The only kill that doesn't count are on chickens, but anything else living in the game will give 8.5. As with bow, taking out unarmored targets that don't fight back is the fastest way to level up this skill. Dogs, pigs, and sheep are my preferred method. And if you're feeling particularly devious, you can poke civilians in the head for easy XP. Why fight a guard for 2-3 to three minutes when you can get 15 times the experience by running around poking unarmored people? Up next, one of my favorites, lock picking. You get XP for each lock that you pick open. There are 4 types of locks with different XP gain values. Very Easy gives 6.5 XP, Easy gives 8.5, Hard gives 10.5, and, and Very Hard gives 13.5 XP. One thing to note, within each lock difficulty there is a hidden extra difficulty modifier. For example, if you're level 7 lock picking, you might be able to unlock some hard locks, but not all until you reach a higher lock picking skill. However, the XP gained is tied to the main lock tier only. The perk Master Thief that automatically unlocks easier locks gives the same XP as doing it manually. My favorite method for leveling up lock picking is in Ratai. All locks in town are reset throughout the day and each different lock difficulty is present. For low lock picking skill, I recommend the housing in the residential areas at nighttime. Once you can attempt very hard locks, the businesses near the rot house is the fastest way to level up in the game since there are over a dozen very hard locks that you can get within a couple minutes of each other. The traders will relock everything when they wake up and you can repeat. Stealth is one of the most overpowered skills in KCD, and fortunately leveling it up is quite easy. For every lockpick we open, we'll get 4.5 stealth XP. The lockpick difficulty doesn't matter, and you don't have to be crouching. All that matters is a successful lockpick. We can also get XP by choking people unconscious. Each time we KO somebody, we get 15 XP, and the type of person that we do it to is irrelevant. Guards, civilians, sleeping or awake, they all give 15 stealth XP. And finally, pickpocketing gives 7 XP for each successful pickpocketing attempt. Taking a single item or multiple items doesn't make a difference, just make sure you get at least one item. In general, this skill will level up quickly on its own, however the fastest way to level it up is to knock everybody out you come across. Sleeping targets are particularly easy for this. Moving on to pickpocketing. This one was tricky to test and I can understand why so many other guides I've seen have it wrong. Each time we take an item from the pickpocket minigame, we get XP. The XP can range from 9 on the low end all the way up to a 69 max. I've included the data here for you to see, but in general the more expensive an item is, the more XP you'll get. My favorite way to level up block picking quickly is to have a few expensive items on hand. Find an isolated villager or trader and knock them out. Take all their belongings and replace them with expensive items that we brought. Then wait an hour or two for them to wake up. Remember, XP is capped and since we brought expensive items, we max out our XP for taking back a single item from them. In this case, 184 Grosh and Silver Ring are enough value to get the max XP. Be aware, knocking someone out repeatedly will kill them, so maybe keep it to once per day per person to allow them to heal. Now for my least favorite, speech. I might be missing some other methods here, but from all my testing there are only three ways to level speech. 
through dialogue options that have not been clicked on before and show up as white, which give between 0.5 and 1 XP per page of dialogue. Haggling with merchants, which gives 1 XP per successful haggle regardless of the value, and paying off the guards when you get caught doing something naughty. I don't know about you, but I get motion sickness when I get drunk both in real life and in the game, so I don't really do it too often. But the XP gain is pretty straightforward. We get XP based on how much alcohol we drink, with more concentration giving more XP. A 5% beer gives 9 XP, 7% save your schnapps gives 12, 13% fine wine gives 23, and a 20% mead gives 30 XP. Personally, my favorite way to level this up is to drink a lot before needing to sleep and then simply sleep it off. There are potions to help with hangovers the next day as well if needed. Herbalism is yet another easy one. We get 4.25 XP every time we bend down to pick up herbs, regardless of how many we pick up. As our herbalism skill increases, the radius that we pick herbs up increases, which actually makes it harder to level up. The best way to level this skill is to find a large meadow outside of town and just pick up everything that you can. Like speech, horsemanship is a pain to level up. There's only one way, riding on a horse. For testing, I created the Ratai loop and ran the course at three different speeds, trot, canter, and gallop. The XP was the same each time, 5.5 XP per lap. I even tried combat while mounted, but it didn't grant any XP unfortunately. There's no way to power level this one, just make sure you ride everywhere you can at the fastest speed, since XP is based on distance, not the time in saddle. There's only two ways to level up reading, opening up a book, letter, scroll, or treasure map for the first time, and studying skill books. Oddly enough, all of these items grant the same reading XP, which is 18 per item. There's no best way here, just make sure you open up every single book you find, including treasure maps, and make sure you learn all the potion recipes when you find them. Alchemy isn't a skill I've used that much, but from the testing I was able to conduct, each potion crafted granted 24 XP no matter how complicated it was or which ingredients were needed. When it comes to the easiest skill to level up, maintenance takes the cake. There are two ways to earn XP with maintenance. Using a grinding stone to repair damaged weapons, or using repair kits to repair any type of gear. I've included the data that I collected, but essentially the more damaged a weapon is, and the more expensive it is, the more XP will earn. Take note that you can actually get XP by damaging weapons as well, and not just repairing them. When looking to power level maintenance, go steal or buy all repair kits that you can. Save up gear you get from looting dead bodies or theft, and use those kits to repair all these items. In my recent playthrough, I went from level 3 maintenance up to level 20 in less than 60 seconds using this method. Now let's look at hunting. We gain hunting XP from two events killing an animal, and opening up the loot screen of the carcass. Note that you don't have to take the meat. The XP is awarded for simply opening the loot screen. Hares give 9 XP for the kill and 6 XP for looting, or 15 in total. Does give 14 and 9, or 23 in total. Deer gives 36 and 24, or 60 in total. And I don't have the data for hogs, I must have deleted it, but I assume it's the highest of all the animals. It's hard to say what's the fastest way to level up as hares are plentiful but give low XP while the bigger games give more XP but are much more rare. Personally, I prefer to hunt the bigger game. Up next, Warfare. This skill will level up with combat, giving 5 XP per kill, 2 XP for a high damage strike, and 1 XP for a low damage strike, and even 0.5 XP for unarmed attacks. Shots and kills from bow and arrow do not level up Warfare, it has to be a melee weapon. For the final combat skill, Defense. While the skill itself is pretty easy to understand, the XP gain is all over the place. We get between 1 and 1.5 1 XP per regular block, meaning we simply deflect the incoming attack. If we counter through a Master Stroke, we gain XP based on the type used, the highest being 8 XP for a block and hit to the stomach, all the way down to 3 XP for a stab to the stomach. The fastest way to level defense is to counter attack using a Master Stroke. Don't bother with regular blocking. Now let's take a look at strength and agility together since they level up in the exact same way. Each time we land a hit or score a kill, we'll get XP in proportion to the required stat on the weapon being used. For example, the cumin bow requires both strength and agility, but gives more strength XP per kill since its strength requirement is higher than the agility. To level up these stats faster, use weapons that require either more strength or agility and get kills. And finally we have vitality. I've seen a lot of misinformation with this stat, so let's cover the things that do not give XP. Running around either gives no XP at all, or it's so small it's hard to even measure. 
Taking damage of any type does not give XP, as well as bleeding or patching wounds. However, we do get 1 XP for every 4 times we jump or 4 fences vaulted over. But that is painfully slow. The best and fastest way to level up is through combat. Getting a single kill of any kind gives 9 XP, which is worth 36 jumps. Both melee and ranged kills give the same XP, so just keep on fighting. And to finish off the guide, let's talk about skill training. There are four levels of skill training which have different XP gain and costs. Starting at level 0, we can do the beginner training to gain 30 XP at a cost of 60 groschen. At level 5, we can gain 120 XP for 180 groschen. Level 10 gives 211 at a cost of 540. And finally, at level 15, we can get 300 XP at a massive cost of 1600 groschen. Some skills are definitely worth doing the training for, while others are a complete waste of groschen. I'm looking at you, maintenance. If you thought Henry was a wholesome, sweet guy, guess again. Click this video here to see how Henry became a murdering psychopath. Let me know if you'd like to see more Kingdom Come Deliverance guides in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.